In order to create a news or announcement page in your website, of course you need to first log in and then after that you can click on this new page button and then you can type in the name for this news page. I'm going to call it news IPNT. And then you come down here, instead of leaving it as web page, you have to select announcement an announcements, okay? And um, I usually just leave the page at the uh, top level. Uh, you only leave the pages uh, under another page. Um, if you're creating a, a very large website that have a lot of different pages and one page lead to another sub page. And so uh, that's all you need to do. Uh, make sure this is announcements and then click on create. And now you have your new uh, news page. And this page looks a little different than regular website web page uh, because here is a button uh, called new posts. I'm going to click on that. And only I, uh, the, the owner of this website, can come in here and create a new post. Um, unless if you have shared the editing rights with other people. If you share the editing rights with other people, then other people can also come in here and create new posts, and they can also uh, put in uh, additional comments too. Otherwise, you will be the only person who can do that. And in this new post, uh, I'm going to just call it introduction. And I want to put um, the introduction, the same introduction that I have for this page. And instead of clicking it here, you know, and get out of this, this page, I'm going to just click on a, uh, a new tab and create a you know go go back to my page and the reason I do that is actually uh, wanting you to uh, try to remember your the URL uh, to your website okay so they are all like this sites.google.com slash site and then the name that you have given to your website and uh, so now I'm going to just copy this Okay, so let's say this is my introduction. I press Command C to copy, and come to my uh, uh, news page, uh, news post here, and paste. You notice that um, I am able to post both the text and uh, the the picture right there. Okay, but it, uh, created an extra line, so I delete that, and after that I just click on save, and um, and then if I click on uh, news IPT, you know, this is the news main news page. You notice that I have uh, this page, this post right here. And I can uh, ha have access to this new post button again. And when I cr uh, click on it, I can create another new post. And let's say, you know, I'm calling, going to call this new post parents rights. Okay. And then uh, I don't want to spend time typing a lot of, you know, the text in there. So I'm just going to just randomly press my keyboard and put in some characters. And then I click on save. And when I go back to the main news page, you notice that this new post is staying on top. The older posts will stay at the bottom. And every time when you create a new post, the new post will always stay on top and push the older one to the bottom. And so the, the, the latest news that you want to give it to your students, uh, to the parents, it will always uh, stay on top. And um, so that's how, how you, you know, create a new uh, the news page. And when you're done, make sure you um, uh, link this new news page uh, to your menu uh, bar here. And uh, you should know how to do that. And, uh, no, and uh, a couple more things, okay. Uh, one thing is that if you have made a mistake in your post, uh, you can just edit post and then go in and make changes. And once you are inside a post, you can actually edit it just like a web page. You can insert uh, pictures, you can uh, create links, and you can insert videos and uh, insert doc, uh, the Google documents and, and all, do all kinds of things and make this uh, uh, to be a, into a very rich um, uh, the posting. Okay, so that's uh, how you create a news page.